Yeah, we spend a lot of time looking for these antlers, don't we? I love these things. <laughs> Whitetails are the best. But let's talk about antlers because there are a couple really interesting things you need to know. One is, this is the time of the year guys are looking for sheds. They're out there looking for these antlers that fall off. This is a muley antler I found in Utah. Uh, these shed off and they lose them every year and then they grow a whole new set of antlers. But the magic happens right here, right here on the very bottom of this antler. Now, here's what's going on during most of the time. These antlers are firmly attached to the skull plate right here. There's a little nub that you can't tell it even exists right now, but there's a little nub under here, looks like a button and it's called the pedicle. And it's actually a little pedestal that is the origin point for all this antler growth. As these antlers grow, there's velvet on them, about September sometime, first to the 15th, this velvet begins to die. Uh, the blood supply is shut off. Things begin to change. The antler is actually calcified at that point. It turns hard and it's bone. It's actually the fastest growing bone in the whole animal kingdom when it's growing. But here's the, here's the interesting thing. Right here at the bottom, how do these antlers, what triggers them to drop? What triggers them to come off? Now, you know, you can take a buck that weighs 300 pounds, a big Saskatchewan buck like this one, and hang them by his antlers. There's no way that the antlers are going to come off when the antlers are hard. But at a special time, it usually happens sometimes in a uh, little uh, Christmas, a little after Christmas into January, these antlers fall off. Here's the magic that happens. It occurs right here. At the very bottom of the antler, there's actually a certain group of cells that are already here, but they become active. They're called osteoclasts. And these osteoclasts, osteo is bone, uh, these osteoclasts begin to do their job and they create a thin layer right here, right above the pedicle. You can actually see it's kind of a little nub there where it was hooked on. They begin to do their magic right here and they disassemble a very thin layer of bone. And it's only paper thin, but they disassemble that layer and the antler falls to the ground. And that's when you go out and find sheds. It's really fun finding sheds here in Pennsylvania or in the Midwest or in Texas or up in Canada. But let me tell you about one I found one day. I was in Alaska and I found this shed. Look at that. <laughs> How about that for shed hunting? And get this, it's built the exact same way. See how it's built there on the bottom? There was a little layer right there, a paper thin layer of osteoclast that got their act together and started disassembling that bone. And this antler fell to the ground. Here's what was really fun. The moose that owned this antler was standing over it when I found it. Hooked it on my backpack and brought it home. The antler, not the moose. And there you have it. Shed hunting, now's the time to get out there. <laughs>